out here on the cry base and we're setting up a hoop house and uh, trying to do a raised flower bed. Uh, we got PVC pipe here. Flower bed? You growing flowers? No, we're growing a uh, uh, garden, not a garden. <laughs> Do you know what you're doing? I have no clue. <laughs> we have no idea what no we're clue. doing. But this thing looks really cool. <laughs> <laughs> if you know what you're doing, you need to come help us. <laughs> right. Right. Why am I holding this board? <laughs> <laughs> Might be thinking, you know, when you look at cry and crisis response, um, you know, you might be thinking tornadoes, earthquakes, hurricanes, and mucking out houses or picking up debris, and all of those things are crisis response. But you know, we respond to any crisis, and at the end of the day, when people are hurting, they need resources and they need the gospel. We don't care what it is, we're going to respond and we're going to help those people. And I've been watching the news and I've been tracking with the, you know, things that the Lord's been saying to me for the last six months about building out our farm here and being prepared and building out the ark. And, and uh, you know, literally as I'm watching our food chain begin to break down, I'm watching a brewing storm. And the question is this, is as I'm watching, it's like watching a hurricane on the Weather Channel and going, is this a Category 5 storm or is this a Category 1 storm? Is it going to hit Texas or is it going to hit Florida? Do we need resources to blue tarp roofs or do we need resources to go in and muck out homes? And that's exactly what I'm watching as I'm watching this, uh, this event brew and the economic fallout of COVID-19 and and, you know, at the end of the day, I just wish this would all go away and we can go, all go back to normal, you know. And, uh, but the likelihood of that is probably nil. And, and uh, I hope it's a Category 1 storm. But I've had confirmation after confirmation to begin to move towards this and begin to prepare uh, our farm and build out. We have livestock coming. we got a uh, uh, half dozen sheep coming tomorrow. We're, i got 800 pounds of seedling potatoes going to pull up here any minute now. We're going to start getting food in the ground. I want to put a call out there. If you're a cry responder, you have a heart to prepare a place of refuge. And if you have a heart and you understand that there's a crisis brewing and you want to be able to come here and help me personally, to be able to put food in the ground, to be able to help in a time of crisis. This isn't just about sustaining our camp and sustaining our staff and that sort of thing. This is about helping people in the hour of crisis. And right now what we're looking at is uh, really an economic meltdown uh, and, um, and food shortages. Uh, and all you gotta do is turn on the news and you'll see that that's a real reality right now. So I want to encourage you to come volunteer short term. If you have a heart to do this, if you know how to farm, garden, take care of livestock, animals, that sort of thing, come jump in, help me out. I'm up here working away up here. Um, or if you want to join staff full time, we have an ARC school, okay, starting June 1st. And I was thinking about it the other day. What was the ARC? The ARC was full of animals and it was full of food. And so why aren't we doing this here? And so we need help building this out, guys. It's a lot of work. Our staff is already working so hard just to run the place and take care of things and maintenance and stuff like that. And I'm looking for people to come, get involved, help us out, push this forward. And if you want to donate towards this, guys, this actually takes a lot of money. And, it, you know, think about Noah building the ark, you know. Over that period of time, people must have thought he was crazy and, you know, probably needed a lot of resource. And so we could use your help with that as well, too. But if you want to come help me out here, I'd love your help. Just go ahead, go on the website and uh, fill out the application to, uh, to volunteer, or go and pray and ask the Lord about coming and joining the ARC School June 1st. So God bless you guys. We're praying for you, and uh, we'd love to see you up here real soon. God bless.